The key to the Baker rifle's ability to provide accuracy over that of the smoothbore musket was twofold. One aspect was the rifling. The seven groove, one in 120 inch twist, imparted the spin on the ball to stabilize it in flight. The second was the patch. This held the ball tightly in the barrel and provided the interface between the ball and the rifle. Baker, in his work, 23 years practice and observations with rifle guns, makes mention of a couple of types of material used for this purpose. In particular, he mentions leather, the subject of which this experiment will explore. Baker makes no mention of how the leather was used as a patch. However, there are period examples with balls covered in a cross-shaped leather patch fixed to the surface of the lead. For this experiment, I used a scrap of thin lambskin that was supple, yet tough enough to withstand the loading and firing process. This was lubricated by soaking in shortening and was cut to normal dimensions. I made sure to fire a fouling shot before the experiment commenced. Loading was achieved without difficulty and in exactly the same manner as with patching with woven cloth. I used my standard load of 95 grains of 2F with a 593 round ball. While forcing the ball into the barrel, I did notice a surprising amount of give in the leather patch. The natural springiness of the leather forming into the grooves and around the ball. A rest was used to ensure the elimination of as many variables as possible. Now I wasn't quite sure how the patches would hold up, but I did go and collect them after. As with all load development, collecting of patches gives interesting information as to how the rifle is performing. Not surprisingly, they withstood the trip in and out of the barrel very well. There were no visible signs of damage or burn through. Most importantly, of course, were the results on the target. This was the result of a six round group shot at 110 yards. Not too bad if we discount the flyer at the top right. Immediately after, a group was shot using my typical mattress ticking patching. This group would form the basis of comparison with that shot with the leather patch. Of course this test was not very comprehensive, but the results with the regular cloth patching material showed a slight improvement over accuracy over that shot with the leather patch. Given the cheapness and availability of the cloth, I think I'll stick to it. <laughs>